Hey everybody, I wanted to make a video today out of principle because it's been on my mind and I just feel led to share it. So the other day I was writing this book that I just feel led to write. I'm not a writer or anything, but uh, I'm jotting away at this book piece by piece every single day. And some hard things came up. And as they came up, I had this inspiration to share it because I have a feeling it might help one of you guys out there. So I wanna share it. It's not about me. This is my story, this is my life, but it's really about whoever's on the other end of this phone. That could be some kid or somebody going through some trauma in your own life and you need some encouragement. So about my story is my dad actually was married to two women at the same time. Okay, my mom's name, maybe I shouldn't say, but uh, Jay and my other mom was V. Okay, so my dad was a two-timer. He had two wives at once. And there was a time where we lived in Belle Plaine, Minnesota, and my mom lived upstairs and my other mom lived downstairs. Crazy, okay? And I was always raised to not talk about the secret ever since I was a kid. I think my dad got his second wife when I was like uh, seven or eight. And I was always told never to talk about it. Hush, hush, Tommy. Don't talk about the family, you know, the dirty secrets, the dirty laundry. But as I was writing this book, I felt really uncomfortable about this topic. But I thought, you know what? If it helps one person, and I felt led by the Holy Spirit. And so, anyways, my dad had these two wives, and eventually he tried to. This is Bilbo, by the way. He's got his little sweater on because it's getting cold. He usually sits up here, but for whatever reason, he's back there. But anyways, back to my story. Uh, my dad had two wives and he was working on getting a third one. And before he married his third wife, you know, he mistakenly, you know, he, 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 he ended up committing adultery with her because he wasn't married to her quite yet. I don't know how, how it all went down. All I know is I was in like ninth grade, eighth grade, and my dad sat me down and told me the whole thing. And so V divorced my dad right away. She, she basically was like, you know, adultery is wrong. And she was right. And she had had enough. And she says, I'm out of here. And she had two kids by my dad. I have two half sisters that are incredible. They're incredible people. And um, so after that, you know, my mom divorced him too. And about a year after that, after, and then he, re he remarried this lady. I think it was the third lady he was trying to marry. So he's married to her currently. But I say all that because in the moment when I was so young and my family was going through a breakup and a breakdown, finances were a huge mess. Everything was a total disaster, man, just as you can imagine. You know, being a, going through a divorce, just having a normal family is already messy, but two families and kids and my mom had nine kids. So it was messy, man. And I went through a really dark period in my life where I just went, got so depressed and all the strength of my family was just gone. It was just, it was gone. And, and I had nothing. I had one sweater to my name, one set of clothes. We were just so poor, man. And um, I claimed to be atheist. I had just given up on my religion. I stopped going to church. Things were just bleak and dark. And I share all this because I really believe that there's people going through that right now. I know there's a family that came and visited my, my, my mom recently and they're going through a divorce and their kids are discombobulated just like I was. I didn't get to see them, but from what I heard, they're really having a hard time. And as I was driving away, because my brother was telling me that they were visiting, as I dropped my brother off, I was driving away and I remembered and I thought, you know what, there's families going through that same thing right now. To me, it feels like, oh, everything's better now. I'm an adult and I have finances and I have family and everything's solid now. But there's people going through the same thing that I went through right now. So I just want to share this to encourage anybody. If you're going through that familiar dark time where things don't really seem like they're ever going to get better 
and you're turning to alcohol and porn and drugs to cope with these really bad feelings that you're having i totally understand and i was there man there was a po there was a point in my high school career where i would just go to the bathroom stalls during lunch because i just felt like other people could see it on my countenance i was in absolute despair and um I would just go sit in the bathroom stalls. People would try to befriend me, and I just, it just wasn't working. It just, it didn't matter. My home life was in shambles. And I just wanted to share that with anybody that's going through a dark time, that I know all about isolation, depression, coping, struggles, poverty, trailer parks, and, and, you know, I just, I sympathize with you, and I feel for you right now and I'm keeping you in my prayers and um, feel free to leave a comment if you have some prayer requests but really I want to end the vi video by saying that the only person that really turned my life around was Jesus Christ when he found me I was at I was at my bottom in jail after a DUI and and he just turned everything around just it, he just he just turned the sinking ship, the Titanic of my life, he turned it away from the iceberg and, and brought me to a to a shoreline that was the foundation. And he brought me to a way better place. He, he prospered every work of my hands. He brought me from the deepest despairs. And so as I was writing this book, this all came up and it was really hard. I didn't want to talk about it. But that's my family history. My dad had two wives, was a polygamist from Utah. And I know all about struggle. I know all about family strife. So I wanted to share this with anybody that's just going through that. Maybe a lot of you guys aren't going through it. And that's good. That's great. I'm happy to hear it. But there are people that just need this encouragement. And so I want to share this with you, my story, to help you, to give you a little... Even if it's just one little candle light of light at the end of your dark tunnel, you know, there is light and you will overcome if you rely on Jesus Christ. But nothing else will help you. Everything you use to cope, it's not going to help you just like it didn't help me. And so with that being said, take care. I hope you guys enjoy a good rest of your night. And welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks for liking and commenting and sharing your guys' stories and experiences. I really read through each and every one of them. And it encourages me throughout my day. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to go to a different, a different bookstore that I don't think I've been to in a while. And uh, I'm going to do a little bit of studying. And Bilbo wanted to come with, so he's just going to be chilling in the car for about 30 minutes to an hour. He doesn't mind. It's not too cold out. It's not too hot out. I'm going to crack the windows. But, uh, yeah, take care.